Hey guys, welcome back to your review channel. Today we're looking at an item from Fantech. This is the S100 Apex Air Inflator. Now it's a portable air inflator. I did purchase this with my own money. They didn't. They did not send this to me just to be clear and transparent. Uh, it's a small portable um, air inflator. A lot of these are really on the market today and people really want to know the quality build, how well it works and the overall value of what you're paying for. This one here seems like a, a fairly good value. Uh, what, can, what you uh, says what you can expect from the S100 does cars, motorcycles, bicycles, inflates um, like basketballs, things like that. That's what it is. So as always, the fastest unboxing. Always, it comes in a small package. This one is up to 150 PSI. That's what it says, the maximum amount. Uh, let's do a quick cutaway. I'm going to bring it right in. I'm going to show you exactly what's in the box. And as always, super fast unboxing. This is what it looks like. This is what comes in the box. So you have a little uh, carrying pouch, a small manual, which is pretty easy to understand and pretty well laid out. Uh, you have the USB-C charger. Uh, when you get it, they recommend you charge it, charge it to 100%. I recommend you do that. Uh, only pet fee, but it's a little small cord, not very long at all, but that's a lot of them come like that. Comes with an adapter to fill your like basketball or maybe some volleyballs or maybe kids' balls, things like that, and also another adapter as well. It comes with a couple of different adapters, comes with the case, the manual, and charger. Now, what's cool about this carrying case, I do like this a lot, it does have a small pouch here that you can actually... Uh, actually put your accessories in which i like that and also put your charger in here as well that way you can keep everything all in one little separate pouch it's all in here separately and the device itself can actually go in the bag itself with the pull string cord that's how that works so let's take that to the side take this to the side as well let's take a look at the item itself this is what it looks like so right now it is beefy it's heavy and beefy and i like the i like the build of this item obviously um it's got a lot of weight to it it's got a couple different features of course it does fill your air, your tires, things like that. It's automatic. You don't have to hold the button. You don't have to keep it pressed. That's cool. A big LED screen so you can see what's going on. Also, it does have a big flashlight right here, which is really nice. We'll take a look at that in a second. And also a couple of ports in the bottom here for charging. Now, if you have a, it's a USB uh, A, 5 volt, 2 amps right here. You can see that. And also a USB C. So you got two extra charging ports here. So if you have your cell phone, something dies, you do have a brick basically a power pack with you, which I really like that quite a bit. That's a really good feature. I like that flashlight. That's a really good feature. Now let's see the flashlight go on. Let's put the, let's power it up first. Hit the power button, hold it down. You see how it lights up. There it is. Battery's full. There's your, uh, the PSI uh, right here. And this is, it actually measures your air pressure. Uh, so when you plug this into your tire and you plug this into anything, any air uh, that you want to fill up, it'll give you some feedback what it's at. You can set your air pressure where you want it to be at, and that's how that kind of works. We also have bar. You can have different ratios. You have bar, and also you have KPA. But we want PSI because that's what we like. <laughs> well, here's the PSI, and here is the, the number that tells you what it's at. That's important, so that's what you need to know. You got the indicator for the, the light, like I showed you. And also, if you want to turn the pressure up and down, we have a plus and a negative right here. You can up and down. That's how you turn the pressure up. So say you have a Tesla running around 42 PSI, and you can see that's flashing. Once it stops flashing, it confirms that is your um, setting that you want. Or if you have a Lexus, depends what you have for a car, 37, 38. It depends on the car, the vehicle. Check out your VIN number. Check out on the side of the door. It usually tells you what your PSI should be. Once you set it up to that, you plug it in. Uh, you just screw this on to your valve stem. And we'll put this up to my car. We'll check that out in a few seconds. Um, and then basically, you just turn the power on. And that's all you got to do. I need to hit the power. Just hit that. So I want you to hear the sound of, of the actual uh, motor itself or the sound of the actual device. You can hear it. Turn that off. You can hear that. It's pretty loud. Shut that off again. Let's hear it again. That's it. Like I said, it is loud. So just be aware of that when you're using it. Again, and also the flashlight. Let's get to the flash. I wanted to show you that real quick. Let me just go over here. Here's the flashlight. I don't want you to see that. Let me shut this lights off so I give you an idea. Here is the flashlight. Let me shut this other light off. So here is the flashlight. You can see it's pretty bright. Uh, works pretty well. Again, easy on and off. Hit the button on the side right here. Shut it off. You got emergency. So you got the blinking light, which is kind of cool, right? Like that. I like that. So it does the uh, flashing. Looks like it's doing SOS. I like that. And then you shut the button off, shuts it off. That puts it back on. So I just wanted to give you an example of how it looks. Those are the lights, how it works. Super easy and pretty bright. So you got the SOS, you got the off, and you got the on. Um, and that's what that works. So that's the, um, that, that example for that. And you're good to go. Shut it down. You hold the button down consistently like that. 
power it down. All right, let's get this to the car hooked up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I do all types of reviews, tech reviews, automotive reviews, pretty much how to everything there is to do. I will try to show you and give you the information to teach you and give you some information, some education. Again, this is pretty heavy, pretty beefy. Uh, it's got a good weight to it. Just to give you an idea on size, just to, just to give you some size dimensions here, that's approximately eight inches by eight inches and approximately two inches wide. All right, so eight inches by two by two, basically like a brick. Let's call that. Let's have a hose here. Let's see how long the hose is. Just to give you some more information. I think it's important to have as much information as possible. This hose is 17.5 inches long. That's how long the hose is. It's got a good flex to it. It feels pretty good. The adapters are easy to, to attach and put on. And I like the feel of it. We're going to test it out and um, put this on my car and see how it goes. We're going to um, put the pressure down. We're going to time it and see how long it takes to um, put the pressure back up on the car. All right, guys. Um, again, appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of content. Also, consider that super thanks if I brought you some value and some education. My job is to do this and help you out. I get I don't get paid for this. Uh, there will be a link below in the description. Um, might not be the exact same model, but it'll be available for this specific company. Uh, and go right ahead and purchase that. It will cost you nothing. It does help support my channel, and that's all I ask you to do. If you if you are interested, if you're not, no big deal, no worries. I'm here to help and educate you. And that's really what I get out of it, honestly. And anything I do raise for the channel just helps support the channel so I can continue making these reviews and show you and teach you a little bit about um, things like this. All right, guys, so I love this kind of stuff. I love car inflators. I love all kinds of automotive stuff. That's my main, I love that kind of stuff. So check out all the videos on the channel as well. And also be a link at the end of the video on top over here as well. And also below the field. And uh, all right, let's get to the car and see how it goes. Okay, so we have it on the car here. You can see actually easy to just actually attach it really quickly right here. Um, actually, they're not losing any air when I added it to it. I did reduce the air pressure about five pounds. Uh, recommends between 33 and 35 on this uh, Lexus. And let's just see how long it takes to just put in four pounds of pressure. We don't have to go and empty. Just give you an idea of the uh, functionality. Oh, you can hear it's kind of loud. And that's going to go up slowly. And we'll put a timer on this. And when it hits 35, it'll shut off. That's the idea behind it. So 32. Actually going pretty fast considering, not bad. That's 32. Battery's still full, 33 pounds. It's actually pushing a lot of air, in my opinion, not bad. Thirty-four pounds. That's not bad. That's actually pretty fast. Thirty-five. Now that'll pop off and stop automatically. I'm actually pretty impressed. That's not bad. The battery is still full. I did fully charge it. Definitely recommend doing that. I had it set for 35 PSI and went to 35 PSI and you can see it stopped. Really, really well made. I like this quite a bit. It works great. Again, you just it doesn't take long at all. So it took out around five pounds. Um, so you can extrapolate that if it's down to empty. Probably take around maybe 10 minutes or so to actually fill the tire. I don't think, I'll, we'll do a quick timer on this. We're gonna do a go into post-production to give you a look on that. Very easy to use. And all you have to do is just unplug it. And you, you lose very little, like nothing. It's really made very, very well. Put that there like that. And when you're done, don't forget to put on your little cap. Caps are really important. And that's it. All right, guys. So I definitely I recommend this 100%. Uh, appreciate your time as always. Hope you enjoyed this review. And take uh, appreciate your time and hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share and follow the channel for more. Have a great day.